Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series. The week that was college football history review, the 1981 college football season. Week number four. Week number four. Week four, man. September 26, 1981. We're going to get started with Mississippi State beating Florida 28-7. Mississippi State at the time was ranked number 12 in the country, and they beat Florida State. Excuse me. They beat Florida 28-7. Number 12, Mississippi State beat Florida 28-7. As the Bulldogs, offense and special teams each scored twice, and blitzing defense sparkled. Halfback Michael Haddix had two rushing touchdowns. Wide receiver Glenn Young returned punt 49 yards to Gator end zone, and special teamer Bobby Jenkins added three-yard touchdown return up block punt. So the Gators were held to 146 yards passing and minus 10 uh, yards rushing and meager nine first downs under pressure from Mississippi State, which blitzed Florida's run and shoot um, offense about half time. Now, defense recorded 10 sacks, had five interceptions. Florida quarterback Wayne Peace slipped into touchdown pass to slip in the touchdown pass to wide receiver Spencer Jackson. Next, you had uh, Iowa beating UCLA. UCLA was number six in the country. They upset them 20-7. As aggressive Hawkeyes defense overwhelmed Bruins, who played without injured tailback Kevin Nelson. Wide well, receiver Carmack Carney. UCLA could manage. Poetry 121 yards of offense with 35 yards rushing. And seven first downs while committing five turnovers. Iowa sacked. Quarterback Tom Ramsey six times, but produced touchdown win linebacker Andre Tippett, defensive end Brad Webb, converts to create end zone fumble that defensive tackle Mark Bortz bounced down for touchdown. Although, producing only 16 yard touchdown run by quarterback Pete Gales, Iowa offense ate lots of clock and dominated field position with help from long skyward power bowlers of. Hunter Reggie Roby. Next, Penn State, the number three team in the country, beat number 15, Nebraska, 30 to 21. Shorty Miller's 1912 Penn State record for single game rushing of 250 yards against Carnegie Tech remained intact, but not without threat by tailback Kurt Warner, who exploded for 238 yards, leading Nicky Lions back twice from deficits. Kicker Brian Franco. Set Brent Penn State school record with five field goals, while fullback Joel Cole scored winning touchdown on two yard run in fourth quarter. Teams combined for 811 yards, 414 yards by Penn State, but each also lost three fumbles. Nebraska eye back Roger Craig rushed for 124 yards. Quarterback Mike Maurer, Maurer came off bench to throw two touchdowns, but neither could prevent loss that marked. Cornhuskers, poor start since 1960. Next, we had about two top top two teams in the country. We had number one Southern California versus number two Oklahoma. Number one versus number two, where number one Southern California beat number two Oklahoma 28-24. Southern California rallied with two fourth quarter touchdowns to beat Sooners in highly anticipated. A sloppy matchup of teams ranked number one and number two. It was the first such meeting since the 1979 Sugar Bowl. Also, coaches Barry Switzer of Oklahoma and John Robinson of USC entered the game as the top two active coaches in winning percentage. Tight end Fred Cornwall went from goal to goal, went from goal goat to hero as Trojans frankly, frankly marched toward Oklahoma goal line at game's end. Moments after he written inadvertently. Deflected pass that was headed for open tailback Marcus Allen. Cornwall caught seven yards touchdown pass from quarterback John Mazur. With two seconds left for win. It was Cornwall's second career reception. Uh, Allen topped 200 yards uh, rushing. He had 208 yards Marcus Allen for third straight game and added two touchdowns. The Sooners were self-destructive with 10 fumbles, often with number no Trojans anywhere nearby losing five. While focused USC went the entire game without turnover. Nonetheless, powerful Oklahoma led 24-14 in the fourth quarter as its dynamic run game totaled 
307 yards. And wide receiver Bobby Grayson had four catches for 118 yards. And finally, Washington State beat Arizona State, the number 18 team in the country, 24 to 21. Kevin Morris booted a 29 yard field goal with 518 left for winning points as Cougars continue outstanding start to season. Washington State raced to a 21 6 lead before Arizona State rallied with two touchdowns in the third quarter to tie 21 21. Quarterback Cleet Casper marched Cougars from own 31 yard line to Arizona State 13 yard line from where Morris supplied his kicking heroics. Big plays set up Razu for three touchdowns in the first half. Two following pair of sudden doubles turnovers and another after Cougars wide receiver Paul Escalera threw a surprise 45-yard pass. The Devils now only four all-time when playing in the state of Washington. Gained 478 yards with the majority coming in the 14-point third quarter. As halfback Willie Gittins scored on a 21-yard run. Fullback Gerald Riggs. Race 59 yards to set up a nine yard touchdown pass from quarterback Mike Pagel to wide receiver Eric Redinius. So that clues a look at week number four, the games that were played for September 26, 1981, week four. The week that was college football history in review, the 1981 college football season, week four. Games that were played on September the 26, 1981, week four. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Reveal the smag to tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.